Hello everyone, today we will look at instant assignments that basically shadow the class variables. So this is important. So here you can see we have a class variable called species. But what would happen if you were to create an instant variable called species too? So here you can see, for example, uh, we created two dog classes here, D and D2. So the first dog here, we've given it a name of Rex, which feeds into over here. And you've got the age. So here Rex has the age of two. Then we have another dog called Max and Max has a age of three. So here you can see, then I print the uh, D variable here, the D species of that, and we've got D2 here and D2 species. So then we get printed the result, which is Rex, either Fox species, Max, either Fox species too. So if we look at where just getting the species part, which is Fox, that's actually a class variable. So for example, I can change this variable to be something else. So for example, I can change it to a wolf species. So these two dogs would now Rex and Max would be of wolf species. So if I were to run this code again by clicking on this execute cell button and that's success. So you can see that's done. And now if I do the second one, so execute cell and you can see now Rex and Max are of wolf species. So the question becomes, if I were to create a variable over here, what do you think will happen? So if I create self dot species, so I've created an instant variable self dot species. And what we'll do is we will now add in species here and we're going to make it equal to species over here. And now if we were to change the criteria, so the third argument that we can pass is this one is the wolf and this one is a fox. So Rex is going to be wolf and Max is going to be fox. So now if I run this again, so execute that and execute this cell over here. And what you will see is you now get the result, which is wolf and fox. This is because we've defined these at the instance level. And now if I were to change the class variable to something else. So here for simplicity, I've changed it to unknown, just so you can see that the instance variable are now overriding the class variable. So if I were to run this again, click here and click there, and you can see that we simply get wolf and fox but the class variable still says unknown so the takeaway from this is that instant variable override the class variables and that's important to understand in python